How can we have a common strategy of action? <laughs> I can say. With people uh, in solidarity in Europe, in Germany, in Berlin, wherever. Because, yeah, as I said, as people, as these oppositionary voices, leftist people in Turkey are incapable, I think they uh, definitely need some kind of solidarity for them outside of Turkey as well. Yeah, one main line of action can be uh, starting a strong campaign against the EU-Turkey deal. Not only the coup, but also everything in last year shows that Turkey is not a safe country. And it was not a safe country ever. Um, not only for Syrian refugees, but anyone, basically. Definitely one thing is how they, how the state started to construct more detention centers, more the camps which indeed served as detention centers and then the uh, migrants and refugees just, they could be randomly called and sent to these places and then you don't know what's happening. I mean, one uh, outcome of the readmission agreement is that it vulnerable it made the position of uh, migrants and refugees more vulnerable in Turkey yeah. and the other outcome is that um, as I try to say um, I think it just served for Erdogan to um, polish his uh, image a bit more because in the last years he there were some diplomatic crises he had really bad relations with many countries and then finally he could provide a good image speaking with Merkel and I don't know acting as if all Europe depends on Turkey's role when we speak about solidarity actions what people um, think of and at the first hand is just going in front of Turkish embassies and doing a demonstration but I personally don't find this really um, useful because you don't have a democratic authority in front of you which can take this uh, public criticism into consideration but this could indeed just like play in the hand of Erdogan to um, develop his discourse more about how the growing threats from outside is uh, targeting Turkey and the power and the integrity of Turkey is under threat by the outside forces. But indeed, yeah, we can just uh, make our fight more common and then also just um, pose this um, fight or this action against the European institutions as well. Like That's why I think that we should make a strong campaign against the EU-Turkey deal and then we should claim that Turkey is not a safe country in front of European institutions as well. Those solidarity actions also should not only target Erdogan, I think, but in general the growing fascism in Turkey, in Europe, everywhere. Because there is growing fascism in Turkey, supported by Erdogan regime. But also there is this growing fascism of Turkish people in Europe, again supported by Erdogan. But on the other hand, there is a really growing fascism, like increasing uh, the support to the right in all Europe, in European Union, in European states. So we should make our struggle more common against any kind of growing fascism so that we don't let it go we don't let it grow in any way mm -hmm.